One of the most important things that's happening in the world of enterprise is agentic AI. Today, the hottest topic in the world is AI agent. AI agents. Agentic AI. In this video, I want to give you a journey of computing, AI, and cloud. Agentic AI, which will transform the whole enterprise. If you keep yourself in soldier category, unfortunately, all will get replaced. You cannot sustain this lifestyle. If you perceive your career as an artist, then it's a whole new world for you. Soldiers take orders, they march, they complete tasks. Are you a soldier? Your manager comes, says, Hey John, here are these five Jira tickets. Next day you go to the stand-up explaining what you did with them. And then suddenly you have a dentist appointment and you're talking to your manager. Hey Jeff, can I go for a dentist appointment? And while I am out, can someone take care of my paycheck? And then you struggle whole night figuring out what happened in that incident. In this video, I will tell you what works. So stay tuned till the end. For the last three, four years when I was in AWS because of AI and its advances, I spent a lot of time understanding the use cases AI is solving in the broader world and how Amazon or AWS or Fang are adapting to it. Now, before I dive in into what works, I want to set up a context. I want to give you a journey of computing AI and cloud and tell you why we are here and why 2025 is the time. In 80s, you had internet. In 90s, you had browser. In 2000s, you have Amazon. People were selling and buying goods. The trades were happening on internet. That was the revolution 25 years back. Can you imagine why I did not come into the picture at that time? Because AI was getting born in that time, but it was not having that space to grow. Obviously, the compute was not that extensive. People were having their data centers and Amazon bring out the revolution when they shown the world how can you use their web services to spin up own infrastructure. That was a landmark when you now don't need physical hardware to run your businesses. You can just go and rent computers from Amazon through API. What happened in early 2000s after 2008 when the financial collapse happened? People started consolidating their resources more and put them on cloud so that they can reduce the cost of managing data centers. While they were offloading their compute to cloud, the transformers, which researchers were working for a long time, started to make some breakthroughs. 2016, 2017, when the tech giants like Musk and Larry Page and Sergey realized that there is a conducive environment to build AI based on LLMs because now we are having compute. So the wave of AI started in 2016, 2017 when OpenAI was actually formed. And right after that, 2017, Amazon launched their service called SageMaker because they also understood that there might be a possibility of birth of a lot of models which require compute and infrastructure to run. So I think by 2017, the AI and cloud started to get leverage out of each other. But by that time, people did not know that LLMs can learn about things on their own so quickly because LLMs are based on reinforcements and self-learning. So they are self-improving entities. When SageMaker came, there was a signal that something big is going to pop up. Then in 2022, when OpenAI released ChatGPT and made LLMs public through APIs and interfaces, the game really started to get changed. That's where Amazon also realized that they need to bring a service which can compete with this new giant. People are buying memberships for like $20 a month and getting a lot out of it. So there was a viable business and they need to compete because Microsoft is an investor in OpenAI, of course. So AWS brought in 2022 a service called Bedrock. So all these services which I'm mentioning, they sound good and you will know about them, but they all are like landmarks. They are like milestones in the journey of internet and AI. From there onwards, AI has made such a big leap. If you see today, like LLMs are the word of past. LLMs, I think, are probably mature enough now. Now, humans are understanding how to interact with LLMs in a very automated manner and without getting harmfully affected by them. So it's the age of agenti. But I want to pause here and go a step backwards. I was explaining the journey of internet, cloud and AI. Three things now bring together and they made an ecosystem where the intelligence become very, very readily available. So in this era of artificial intelligence, where everything is becoming AI first, you cannot be a soldier anymore. Now let's talk about artists. How do they work? 
Do you think they have Jira tickets to solve? Do you think Leonardo Vinci is looking for his manager to give him the order to paint the painting? Their way of working is not regimented. They don't take light. They don't take energy from outward sources. They are mostly inner world people who feel the pain, who go through day-to-day -day life and observe it so deeply that they can bring value out of it. If you observe something so deeply with focus, focus is the currency, not the money, not the dollars, not your job, not your income. It's the focus which create amazing things. Artists use focus. They are observing. They're not following. They don't have routines. If you perceive your career as an artist, then it's a whole new world for you. But if you keep yourself in that soldier category, those soldiers, unfortunately, all will get replaced. Because anything which can be repetitive, anything which can be done automated way, they are going to get replaced. Soldiers can be AI enabled fighter pilots, but I don't think even soldiers in the world will go fight their wars without using AI. So how can you expect engineers to remain relevant if they are not owning their career? You cannot go on and asking, oh, is data career is better or a security career is better or an AI career is better or a cloud career is that better? As an engineer, if you think like an artist, you cannot sustain this lifestyle by following, chasing and doing things to please people but what you can do is start thinking like an artist and start understanding that without AI there is no chance that you can survive you have to think like an owner you have to think like a creator I'll tell you my own example how engineer transition from the following orders to owning a career it's like you need to transition from being a soldier to an artist I was in AWS for last four years or you can say four and a half years so I have a very long list of a very stellar experience in my engineering background. Based on all of that, I was hired by AWS. For the last three, four years when I was in AWS, because of AI and its advances, I spent a lot of time understanding the use cases AI is solving in the broader world and how Amazon or AWS or Fang are adapting to it. And learning all of that and how Amazon work, I understood the game. The game is if you are a soldier, even if the soldier in Fang companies following the orders of your manager for promotions or job changes or exceeding expectation is not going to help you out. What is going to help you out is owning your career. So my experience at Amazon taught me this. I understood that it is not sustainable and it's not giving me what I want. Even the money I was getting, I was not totally satisfied. I was getting great money as compared to the whole industry. And I don't have complaints, but I understood that the growth path is not working for my manager. When I understood this, I tried changing my mindset from being a soldier. I started shifting it to become how can I own my career? And in that ownership, I basically discovered that that you cannot think what is the job I'm going to get in the market. You need to think how you bring value. This mindset shift from doing a job to bringing a value is a mindset shift from a soldier to artist. When you think about bringing a value, you don't go for like that $400 bootcamp where some stupid projects are getting happened. You cannot learn DevOps and security by just going into these boot camps. They are a waste of time. You need to stop doing that. What will work is owning it. Owning means you need to go deep down. Why DevOps? Why cloud? What kind of value I can get? Am I going to get 150K job or 500K job? So you need to put worth on yourself and then start owning your career and then investing real time energy and resources into it. For me, my transition from an engineer to an owner happened because of AI. You need to use AI to create systems. You will not just be a DevOps engineer or a security engineer. You will be all of it at once. And then you will be running with AI systems. For example, if you are a coder, you should be thinking about how can you use assistance to basically code faster or build better features you don't have to write code you need to understand what is a dsa and an algorithm but you don't have to write a for loop for that for me if i need to write a poc i'll tell grok or i'll tell chat gpt but i'll give clear instructions i know what exactly i need as a owner of my career my prime requirement is to know exactly what i need nobody else is going to do that an engineer's and an artist's job is to bring clarity or produce energy and these things translate into value 
not a chase not following some posts or doing some tutorials those are peripheries they will happen when your mission and your energies are aligned with what you're trying to do so basically what i do now is i put a lot of my focus and energies in ai security i am understanding and building things which will provide value to enterprises in securing their ai workloads today the hottest topic in the world is agentic ai agentic ai is something which will transform the whole enterprise from being a service driven organization powered by human labor it will basically agent powered very smart enterprise where your agents would be the endpoints and your protocols would be the nervous system and the cloud will basically power all of that because of its scale in this agent ai era where it is going it's going towards total creation and the creation requires awareness now you don't need to sweat to write a script which will run tonight to do something you're just going to tell an agent but the challenge is when this agentic ai is in the full flow how will this whole thing be secured that would be the problem number 1 for humans right when all the ai agents are collaborating with each other what will humans do they have to save themselves from these agents and they need to be creative so for me ai security llm security attack surface area for ai applications agentic security red teaming llms or agentic applications using ai to secure broader platforms like clouds so that is my focus i only learn ai tool i'm not now thinking about how can i create a vpc and add a subnet to it i know it in my head i understand what business problem i am solving and how can i use ai to attack those problems so for example if i need to create an aws environment today i'm not going to do it on my own i will use mcp servers aws has exposed where you can interact with them and they do things for you what you do is observe you create you become 10x you become 100x you're not just a developer anymore you are all at once that is called the artists soldiers have their territory mark they operate within it it's good for certain frameworks like saving a country but when you want to save your life and your career you cannot mark your territory whole internet is your territory so if you are an engineer and you know computer science you are in the best space today think about big things and commit to them so imagine if you want to become an amazing engineer you have to commit 6 months of hard work and make sure that you are doing ai first so if you are a data engineer and you want to, to know what you should do and you want guidance from me i will guide you all about how you will use data and ai agents to interface with your data and bring smoothness into the enterprise that is your role in the future if i am guiding a security engineer today to become 10x i will only be telling him to talk and think how the ai will do your job and then how can you use your creativity to make those 10 people so you have to 10x yourself that is the way to go you need to spend the right kind of resources to tackle this problem and if you don't what will happen is you lose time and as you lose time you lose relevance any one of you can correlate with the problems i'm solving i am solving specific problems in ai security so if any of you is a security engineer here and think that you can add value to my learning and get your learning just connect with me on linkedin i live in us and i'm available so connect with me and thank you so much for giving so much love to my last couple of videos